Welcome to the SALT Sideline Report. I am Leanna Hawkins, and we are standing here at SALT New York with Rodney Peterson. He is the Chief Revenue Officer at Visible Alpha. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. So you were speaking on the Titans of Data panel this afternoon here at SALT New York, and we're happy to have everyone back in real life having these big conversations. Data and alternative data is one of the newest tracks in the SALT scene. Um, we didn't have it formally in 2019, our last in real life event. How is Visible Alpha bringing data to the alternative investing world and what makes you guys unique from other people in the space? Yeah, well, we came to market about five years ago to address what we saw as a pretty significant gap in the way that forecasts were put out for publicly traded companies. And so if you've read any headlines in the Wall Street Journal, you'll see they'll talk about Apple revenue and Apple earnings um, expectations relative to what the company reports. But then they'll go on to talk about the drivers of that, which would be the iPhone and the iPad and everything else. Nobody had ever quantified those expectations at that really granular level. And so Visible Alpha came to market to solve for that. So we source data from about 6,000 sell-side equity research analysts around the globe. And we take all of the granular assumptions from their models into our infrastructure and create one really granular comprehensive framework for understanding the forecasts of a publicly traded company. So at Visible Alpha, you are in charge of client services and marketing globally. Um, who is really taking advantage of what Visible Alpha has to offer right now? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so our client base is predominantly hedge funds and long only institutional asset managers. Uh, we have clients in each geographic region around the globe. And we have a split of more fundamentally oriented, kind of traditional stock picking, long short equity or long only funds, as well as quant funds leveraging the data in their systematic trading processes. And aside from those current clients and the current space that you're serving, do you see areas of opportunity outside of that for other people in the industry or even retail investors that would have use for your data? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you and I were talking a moment ago about IR. Um, so cor corporate IR, I think, is certainly a space uh, that we have more and more presence in as the IRO works to understand at a granular level what the sell side has to say about their business. Uh, so that's certainly a growing segment for us. We also see opportunity in investment banking, uh, in the consulting space and private equity. Uh, each of those segments, I think, is increasingly interested in as much granular data as they can get a hold of on publicly traded markets uh, for more of their private uh, investment vehicles. So yeah, lots of opportunity outside of our core market. And based on the panel discussion that you had today on alternative data and the, the people that you've had conversations with here at SALT this week, what are you most excited about for your industry going forward? Yeah, well, I think um, there's been this explosion of data that's become available over the last 10 years, and it'll probably continue to grow. Um, but what I think is most exciting is people are really starting to understand how to create connections in those data sets in really meaningful ways. And what we see at Visible Alpha is the managers that are really creating an advantage for themselves are the ones that are investing to connect data sets in meaningful ways. And that's not an easy or an obvious thing to do. So one of the most exciting aspects I see, um, Battlefin is doing a lot of work with this, is working to connect data in meaningful ways. If you can do that, you're gonna uncover insights that others won't find in a very obvious way. Well, we're grateful to have you here to help us along with those insights in this newer area of data at SALT this week and appreciate you being here in New York. Appreciate you having us. Thank you.